period that was really difficult. What was it like for you growing up? You know, that's a good question. Uh, it was like a heaven. It was marvelous. Um, in the Jim Crow South, segregation. But it's one thing that I, I think that uh, people uh, sort of overlook or skip over in realizing that period. Um, black people had pride. Black people had a sense of culture, a sense of uh, uh, pride and, and self-image, and we stood tall. So the black community, uh, and I heard uh, a professor at UNCA the other week speak of this, uh, there were many things happening, but black people knew how to gather themselves into one solid whole and to stand tall and to use that time to reflect and, and to meditate and knew how to deal with crisis. Uh, but being in Alabama, um, uh, I, I don't know of any children at my school who went hungry. Uh, uh, you know, you, you may have not had everything, but it was a great time. And, and it, it has to do something with, uh, you know, we have heard the term knowing our place. And that's what uh, the white people were saying. Uh, but I, I would like to restructure that phrase to say that black people knew who they were dealing with and knew how to move cautiously around the people they had to deal with who were uh, staunchly against any progress and what have you. And I think much of the uh, Jim Crow laws um, um, and, and segregation and what have you was instituted uh, not so much because we are just uh, ordinarily black, but were instituted against the people who were so extraordinarily uh, progressive, uh, uh, intellectual, and who would, given a chance, outdo any rival. And over and over again, uh, I think it's important to see that uh, throughout the history of our abode here is... Um, uh, uh, you see laws e e erected in order to stop the the ongoing progress of black people. Not just laws, but I also, as a child in Alabama, witnessed three cross burnings. Um, I didn't see the actual burning in terms of when they lit it, but... Um, it was at properties of, and every time, and my parents would talk about these people, they were very fine people, and it would be in our household. They were just too progressive for the white folk, and this was the language. And uh, uh, two of the people were my uh, cousins, uh, probably third cousins, and they were probably in their 80s, and they had 11 acres of land up by a university near our house, and the university wanted their land. And what happened, uh, I, I was six years old, and we drove out there to this pristine land, um, and uh, it had been left to them, rightfully so, but somebody else wanted it, and we drove up to the land, and there uh, the sizzling of a burning cross. Um, and and I, I remember my mother weeping. Uh, my, my father uh, had walked off the land. And so basically these acts 
were against a people who was so progressive.